LA Talk Radio. This is Max and Friends. Ladies out there, take a breath because Adam Rodriguez is here. Ow! 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 What's What's up, Adam <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out with Max and friends. And Eva and Emily. It's Max, you. Max yes. and Posse. Gorgeous ladies. Right. All right. Well, we were just, we were just going on and on about what a big, humongous pile of gooey sweetness you are. It's true. Oh man. Mm. Ah. Well, listen, I'm glad you brought that up because we got a Twitter question, Adam, and someone wants to know what your dream girl is all about. Who is she? Oh my goodness! You know, my dream girl is a woman that is just gonna love me for every bit of who I am—all good, all bad, all fun, all boring, all of it—and just always make me feel like I'm the king, and I want to do the same for her. That's my dream girl, and she gotta have a sense of humor and be educated. That, well, you just... <laughs> That's the truth. That's actually the truth, Adam. You see? It's so interesting. It's so Y'all can make her. Y'all can make her in the in the in the crime lab. Put her together, right? Construct her, right? Like, what's up with weird science? Can we not do that? You know, Yo, or maybe Steve Jobs could. I don't know. Can we just be honest? Do you, do you really do you really want um your dream lady concocted at CSI Miami? That's all I'm saying. Uh, no, definitely not. No, 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 no. I'll leave that. I'll handle that myself. <laughs> just to be in charge of that project. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, Adam, Carla says that she loves you and she can't wait for Magic Mike to come out. So tell us about Magic Mike. Carla, hi, I love you too, Carla, and I can't wait for Magic Mike to come out either. I, am, I cannot wait for this movie to come and hit the silver screen because I had such a great time making this movie that I, I can't wait for people to share in that good time when they watch it. They, they're just going to have a fun time. Guess who else when, can't wait? When's it coming out? Eva LaRue and Eve yeah. T. <laughs> <laughs> when, when is it supposed to come out? It's supposed to be fall? June 29th. No, it's, it has a hard... Oh, it's season. coming out right away. Hard, That's awesome. He's having the premiere hard, when he knows really that we're going to be out of town. No. June 29th. No. So at, if they have a movie theater near there, I hope that you're right. sitting in a seat and watching. We will be. We're going to be in and Cabo. And bring bill to the movie theater because we'll have an usher that's going to collect all the singles that get thrown into the aisles, and they will be mailed to all of the dancers, uh, you know, in the movie. There you go. Now, listen. Good idea. Quick. I got to ask you, Adam. <laughs> well, no, I have to tell you that Crystal from – we've got people from Sydney, Australia listening tonight. So say hi to Crystal. She wants a shout-out. Hi, uh, Crystal, in Sydney, Australia. I love that city. Right. Well, oh, we got people in Indonesia, in Norway, in Sydney. We have everybody listening tonight. You all are bringing out a huge crowd. Beth loves you. All right, Twitter people, I love you all too, but I got to take control of the show. You just took too much of my time. I love you, Twitter people. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, my God. It's like herpes. It spreads so quick, Twitter. But now check this out. Everyone's got it. Um, <laughs> all right. So back to the program, Adam. People want to know, what's your favorite? I asked Emily the question earlier, but if you could take home one show that you love the most, which show would it be? What episode? Oh, if I could take home one show to always watch? Yep. Man, all right. I can't give you just one. I'll give you three shows, and they're all my favorites. Breaking Bad, The Wire, and Curb Your Enthusiasm. If you could roll all of those up into one show, then I could have that just that one show uh the the wire i think is the best storytelling i've ever seen on television uh just purely from story standpoint um start to finish just doesn't get any more thorough or detailed or layered or shakespearean than that and breaking bad is 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 almost you know uh it's not almost as good as the wire but it actually is even more entertaining because they incorporate you know great use of music and camera work into that show and then curb your enthusiasm just cracks me up because i am larry david uh here you go (laughs) if you if you if you've ever any of the girls that have ever lived with me or dated me can honestly tell you I am I am Larry David. I am the I am the Latino Larry David. <laughs> that is funny. 
All right. Now, y'all, the Grammys were tonight. So, you know, Adele took home, like, the majority of awards. What do you think That's of Adele, great. Emily Proctor? What, what? What do you think of Adele? Well, it just started out here, so I didn't know. Oh, did I just bust the hump? <laughs> All I've seen is LL Cool J and some Whitney stuff and then a pasta. I've been following it all night. (laughs) All right, well, here's the I mean, she's awesome. She's totally awesome. And I love that. I love that the non-creative people in her life tried to push her around, and she was like, forget you guys. I'm I'm not listening. But you know so. what's so funny? The Grammys tonight were, like, literally, like, there should have been the pen commercials. We've got music. <laughs> I was like, is that is that your Grammy award winning? I don't even know that, where that music is coming from. Hey, Ronan, where's where that was me. That was my horrible piano playing. I just, you're talking about Adele, so I played the only thing that I know from Adele. Oh, wow. And you're nominated. <laughs> You see, that was Adam Rodriguez. Hey, um, real quick, Emily, someone has in Denmark has their name tattooed on their shoulder. Your name, Emily, on their shoulder. Wow. Because of- That's hot. Is it a man or a woman? It says, love Emily Proctor. That's love Emily Procti. That's their name. Greetings from Denmark. I'm a huge fan of Emily and even got her name as a tattoo on my shoulder. Nice. I love it. Nice. nice. Why, why the shoulder is my question. Because you know what's yeah, nice right? is it like it, you don't he doesn't ever have to worry about breaking up with you and having to change that name. Right. That's true. brilliant. <laughs> Better to just get a random name like a name of somebody you love from a TV show than to even do your husband or your boyfriend. Don't you think? <laughs> I, why not? <laughs> now listen. Because there's a greater wants... possibility of breaking up with that person. Than right. With, well, listen. It's with the your truth. TV show love. Now, someone just asked what you guys think of the adopting storyline. Oh, my God. Somebody is on it. How is that storyline even out How there? How do they know that? You see, I've got the ultimate people listening, you guys. This is Max and Friends. Hey, Ronan, what is this? L.A. Talk Radio. This is Max and Friends. This is Max and Friends. You're listening to Max Tucci because I'm your host and I've got my peeps, CSI Miami in the house, Emily Proctor, Adam Rodriguez, and my girl Eva LaRue. How you doing? Hi. So Hello, listen. Hello, Max. It's your birthday. Now, it's my birthday. Speaking of Valentine's Day. Happy birthday, man. Happy All right, birthday. so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go through the list real quick because we got to wrap up pretty soon. So speaking of wrapping things up, everyone, you know what I say on my show, wrap up, be safe. Okay, better to be safe than sorry. Adam, Valentine's Day is coming. What do you suggest everyone does on Valentine's Day? That's my actual birthday. Is it really? Yeah. I, yeah, his real birthday yeah. is the 14th. Well, I suggest everybody send you a happy birthday shout out, first of all. All and right. Then I, I, and then I suggest that everybody just, if you can't be with the one you love, love the one you with. <laughs> All right, Emily Proctor, what do you say? Well, I was just thinking that, um, well, this is terrible. I think everyone should buy a really cheap candy heart from the drugstore and take one bite out of each piece. That seems like a good idea. That's what I would do. Isn't that sad? <laughs> and Eva LaRue? Well, we just we just celebrated over the weekend. So we went we just went down to Orange County for the weekend, and we just we just drove back. So uh, Valentine's Day, because I like to spend Valentine's Day with a group. I know that sounds kooky, but you know hey, you my daughter's only kid. ten, and my mom used to always spend Valentine's Day with me and my sister. So I don't ever want to leave her alone. So I want to have Valentine's dinner with her with my two sisters who are both single. My mom's going to come up, so we're going to all go to dinner. Together and do val- and have a little Valentine's Day dinner party. See, that's not right because Valentine's is my birthday and I can't go out for dinner or do anything because it's all people who are amateur lovers. Okay, <laughs> it's a prefix. I'm menu. a pro, my friends. <laughs> I, well, I was that that remark. What? I was gonna say I have to be perfectly honest, Max. When you asked me, I'm such a dude. I was like, oh my god, is it this week? I gotta get on. That's why I needed a whole weekend. I'm just giving up today. <laughs> all right. Wolf Forever says that he loves you all. So here's we the story. Lo- love back at you. Now, Emily said something, but Eva, Adam, is this the last season of CSI Miami? Nobody I knows. Bet, if I had to bet the farm on it, I would say that it's not. Um, I think that anything is possible, of course, and certainly the, the people that make those decisions have a, a real hard bottom line about dollars and cents. So they're gonna, you know, they're gonna do what makes sense for their dollars. Uh, but I, I, I really think that 
I really think that we've got uh, a very strong chance at being back next season. Um, you know, I hope we do. I think so, certainly. too. You know, certainly. All right. I'll, 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 they're, they're letting us swing in the wind a little bit, but I really think that we are going to be back, too. I, in my heart, I feel like we'll be back. And they're, they've not committed to us on Valentine's Day. CBS is not. No. They're not no. being a very good uh, lover. Valentine's. <laughs> they're not being a good lover. But you know what? They're not. They're being very wishy-washy. You know, that's the truth. Speaking of wishy-washy, that's one thing that all you listeners are not tonight. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for Twittering. Emily, I've got the picture of the tattoo. They tweeted it to me. I'm going to send it to you. Oh, fantastic. Isn't you should send us a picture of us and um, all of us in Italy. Oh, I will. oh my God. Yeah, that's really fun. Italy. That was good times. Well, listen to this real quick. Before we go, you know I have to bring up the question because everybody's asking. And tonight we had a tribute to Whitney Houston at the beginning of the show with Rolanda Watts. What do you all think of Whitney Houston? Emily Proctor, we'll start with you. Oh, uh, I went to I went to dance class today, and all they played was Whitney Houston, and they played um, "How Will I Know," and I and I just imagined her in that video, and she was just so young and so hopeful, and I just thought it is a real thing in our business where people just start putting so much out there, and I think she at some point just felt like it was impossible to to be imperfect and ask for help and that's it's a real heartbreaker and it's a heartbreaker it for her baby eva yeah I, I, that it was just, i felt the same way i felt like it's it's tragic that there's so much pain out there that people are in so much pain and don't feel like they can they can um ever extricate themselves from that so i tweeted something today that i read and um it was a quote a wonderful song giveth wings to the spirit and filleth the heart with exaltation. From my spirit to yours. Thank you, Whitney. Oh, and Adam? I mean, look, first and foremost, I think it's a very sad waste of uh, tremendous talent. Uh, one of the best, if not maybe arguably the best voice uh, female vocalist of all time. Uh, but, you know, I think, yeah, I think we got to pay attention to the things that really matter in life, which are the people that you have around you, the people that you love, and not not pin your hopes and, and, and your life on uh, on the approval of, of other people. I, uh, I love having fans, love having people that love us from the outside, but got to love yourself from the inside and, and know that the, the love from the people closest to you is what matters most. And if you, uh, if you can hold on to that, then, you know, then you might not find yourself in the kind of sadness that Whitney was in. So hopefully in death, she's found peace. And, uh, and you know, that's, that's all I have to say. That's the truth. Well, everyone, if you feel that you need someone to talk to because life is tough and it's difficult, don't go to drugs, don't go to alcohol, don't go to suicide. Go to 1-800-273-TALK. They're going to be there to help you 24-7. And if you want to talk about it, they've got grievers, grieving counselors there. So give them a call. But there's a great book called Never Letting Go. I want you to get that book. We've had the author here. We've had Eva LaRue, Emily Proctor, and Adam Rodriguez, the cast of CSI Miami. Y'all remember Borat's prostitute, Lunell. She was here, too. And thank you to Rolanda Watts. Borat, <laughs> Houston, Borat. There's a great quote, everyone, that I absolutely love, and it's every time you say my name, my spirit shall live. So, Whitney Houston, let your spirit live on. On that note, will you guys come back? Because people want more time with you. Yeah, yeah. Fun, yeah. fun, Mac. Very, Very fun, fun, Mac. Very Thanks time, for bro. having us, baby. I know. It's nice because yeah, all three happy of us don't get to Happy do birthday. stuff together. I know. We never get to do stuff all together. It's really I cool. Know. See, I bring it together here on Max and Friends, right? Love you, girls. Yeah. Max, I hope nice you have job. a really great birthday. I need sound clips from you all. So, Adam, say, this is Adam Rodriguez, and you're listening to Max and Friends. This is Adam Rodriguez. You're listening. <laughs> this is Adam Rodriguez. You're listening to Max and Friends. Emily? This is Emily Proctor, and you're listening to Max and Friends. Eva? This is Eva LaRue. You're listening to Max and Friends. And this is Max Tucci. You are listening to Max and Friends on L.A. Talk Radio. We're going to have you guys back real soon. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful week. Take life to the max and hit it, Ronan. Happy birthday.